Coach Friend, good weekend. Last weekend, you get the tie against CSU and the win over Wyoming. It's a great weekend. Great way to start the Mountain West Conference, picking up four points. It's going to be a battle in this conference. So I guess let's go back to the CSU game and talk about that game specifically. The tie, uh, really close, had some chances, just couldn't get that game winner. Yes, it's you know we 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 outshot them, but uh, we didn't we didn't take advantage of those shots that we got, and a uh, little miscommunication in the back gave up a goal, and we we're down one, and uh, had to work to get it back in. A tremendous corner kick and header by Angela Caramanos to uh, tie the game up. Thought we might be able to sneak one out, but uh, Bill's team just kept battling, and they did the same thing on Sunday against Colorado College. And you on Sunday against Wyoming, tough battle. Looked like this thing was going to end up as a scoreless tie, but in that first overtime, Brooke Ripman comes up a header again, gets you a goal. Yeah, I think uh, with Wyoming, it's 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 always a battle for us. You know, both teams fight really hard, uh, and um, I didn't think we 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 would pull out a victory, but it was just a beautiful little play by Jillian Jamero to uh, slot it into Taylor Cobb, who then put it into Brooke Ripman and. Uh, Brooke was like, man, coach, I actually had to head that. She's not, not crazy about doing that, but she got it done in the game and, and took a bullet for the team. <laughs> <laughs> so you're 1-0-1. Oh, you head to Nevada this week. You got a uh, game against the Wolfpack and then the Rebels of UNLV. How are you looking at this weekend? Yeah, It's tough to play at Reno. Uh, you play on the turf inside the stadium, and um, that changes the style of play. The ball's bouncing a lot more, so it's hard to get it on the ground. Uh, their team battles every game. Uh, UNLV has got the best record in the conference right now, and they won the conference last year, had nine players on the uh, all-conference team. So I don't think there'll be an easy weekend uh, for the rest of the year. Uh, last year, eight, eight games won it, and five games and two ties was the minimum you needed to qualify. So the margin of error is, is really small. Do you feel good, though, after that first weekend that you haven't had a loss in conference play yet? Yeah, it's a great, great start. Uh, we feel feel pretty good, and, and the team's in pretty good shape. You know, we just hopefully we'll get Casey back soon when she recovers from her injuries. But uh, you know, for the most part, we, we we've come through this thing a little banged up, but but still pretty healthy. All right, good luck this weekend. Thanks.